Hey everyone, welcome to Kind of TV with your friendly neighborhood Natasha. I am here hanging out with two amazing young Canadian actors, singers, writers, directors, producers. You guys do everything. It's wild. We're exploiting the things we can do. <laughs> We're doing it all. It sounds like we can do a lot, but it's that's all it. we can do. <laughs> it's sort of it, yeah. You might recognize them from shows like Degrassi and Life with Derek. It's Michael Cedar and Paula Brancati. Hi. Thanks hey. for coming on our channel. Thank you for dividing us. Yeah. Yes. There's been yeah. a lot of... This is here for a reason. We're gonna be playing a game today because that's what we do here on Kinda TV. But before we get into that, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the movie. Happily. You've made your second feature uh, for a younger audience, Sadie's Last Days on Earth, which I watched and I thought it was super charming. But for those who haven't seen it at home, do you wanna tell them a little bit about it? Huh, let me see if I can come <laughs> up with how it is. Uh, Sadie's Last Days on Earth is about a teenage girl who has a terrifying fear of the apocalypse, um, but no one else believes that it's happening. And it's sort of about how everything in the high school is end of the world and her fear of the actual world ending is like the heightened version of that anxiety so she has this list of things to achieve before it's all over which is like learning how to knit and survivalist cuisine but then personal stuff because there'll be no room for being a teenager in post-apocalyptic suburbia. <laughs> um, I like that. I like, like that line. I'm pretty proud of that one. I wrote it myself. So you wrote and directed um, this story, and I love that you chose to explore the theme of anxiety. Was there something particular in your life that inspired that idea, or is there a reason why you wanted to talk about that? I was really curious about anxiety and teenage anxiety because I had a bunch of friends who suffered from it very heavily in high school. And I talked to a lot of like older people, like grandparents and aunts and uncles and stuff, and asked them like, was anxiety a thing when you were in high school? And they're like, well, you, had, you got stressed about a test, but it wasn't a word that we knew that we really yeah. used. I think anxiety always did exist, but we didn't talk about it. So mm. I think it's really neat that we're finally talking about it and that yes, you, you do absolutely. that with your movie. So I created a game called Box of Kinda Truths. It's inspired by Jimmy Fallon's Box of Lies game. We're gonna figure out if you can tell lies to each other. Um, in these boxes, I have created little boxes of sort of survival ah. themed inspired items. All right, so don't show Michael what it is. I'm not gonna look, cheating's no fun, then the wind doesn't satisfy. God, what a crazy person. In this box, <laughs> Guys, she's a gifted actor, but has long known she's no good at lying. Scissors, for like an injury. <laughs> like suture scissors, like that you're cutting flesh open with? Like uh, bathroom scissors. Coffee, okay. Gauze. Mm -hmm. And like um, medical tape. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's true, because yes. how could I even approach this first one with a lie? You're up. This one is actually really well suited to you. You know, it's not just any kind of survival. It's not just like apocalyptic. What I take from it is like, how does to survive making a movie with the dog is the star? So there's like a book that's the A to Z guide to film production terms and like a dog chew toy that's sort of in the shape of a steak, but it's also yellow instead of the traditional ready brown. I'm gonna say it's a lie. True! <laughs> I know, and the other part of me is like, how could he, why would he come up with that? Hmm. This is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. It's sort of, um, what it is is hopeful. <laughs> and by that I mean where, you know, the end of the world, things end and then some things survive. So what I have here Fantasies. is like a plant. And I also have <laughs> like a, not that we call it a paleta. So I'm struggling for the English word, but it's like a stir stick for batter. For batter, like a whisk? <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Spatula. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's the one. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> wow. This seems to be um, like the like bunny's survival pack. 
it's got like uh, 27 baby carrots uh, and then a little gold painted figurine of said bunny. I have to assume that this is the truth. It's a lie, bitches. Uh, it's baby sausages that oh, sound like carrots falling. No. Well, <laughs> I think she's a little bitter. She's like, not competitive in games, but oh, look I at her. She is <laughs> sour. All right, well that's it. That's the game. Thank you so much for hanging out and playing the game with me. Thank you for letting me try. Don't forget to check out the trailer for Sadie's Last Days on Earth. We shared it on the channel. I love the film so much. You can also follow it at Sadie's Last Days on Twitter and Instagram. Sadie's Last Days on Earth. I really hope you like it. Me too. Don't okay. tell me if you don't. <laughs> Ahoy there, viewers! Click the subscribe button, please! I'm on a boat. Toot toot! <laughs>